uh, we're training youth in Nakiva refugee settlement and surrounding communities in peace building. Uh, we're training youth how they can come together, understand, respect each other, regardless of them coming from different countries, having different regions, having different political ideas, and of course, uh, being from different cultures. Our major project was to change people's attitudes towards resilient and destructive strategies which they think create peace and at the end of the day which do not fighting good and create peace but sometimes people think it's a solution so we wanted to create a culture of dialogue so that different tribes different cultures can interact can meet together and find more peaceful ways. In Pakistan there is like a complex society, have a different culture and different religion and there is no tolerance among them uh, for even they do not tolerate other sects of even Muslims. In a situation like this we trained uh, youth of 30 youth at least on the interfaith harmony. There are some differences in the like beliefs but there are similarities as well and the similarities are more important than differences. We believe that like youth in culture and arts it will might affect people like Easily. The objective of the project is to expose the Moroccans to the culture of the migrants through like a photo exhibition which was made by like a migrant artist and also bring in huge Moroccans and huge migrants in a space where they were like talking about stereotypes because again like one of the like the goals was like to break this world of stereotypes between the two communities. My project was to go about and mobilize young people educate them about peace in my country, especially during the times of election, where we understand that our young people are susceptible to violence. After every six years in my country, Liberia will have to go to the pool and elect a new leaders. And because of diverse opinions, so you always have demonstrations, you always have conflict. Our project was to go and talk to our friend young people so that the attitude of them can be changed that we decided to work in a new dimension of peace. The work of our project was, uh, it, it was based on filmmaking to reach the unreached class. So it's our motivation was to teach them and collect their stories. Because if, if we show it visually to the world, then it visual effect has much more clarity. So that the people will easily able to understand what is happening in their society. With the support of Youth Solidarity Fund, they make us able to implement the, uh, all the ideas which were there in our mind. Uh, the Youth Solidarity Fund has provided us like the opportunity in order to make, we can say like, yeah, this dream come true. And we were able to share like some coexistence values in some local cities that didn't have any idea about it. I have gained a lot from the Youth Solidarity Fund. For me personally, I was invited to attend this capacity building workshop and training here in Istanbul, Turkey. So it's like a, a, an experience for me, exposure to the world because I came and I got a lot of friends. Youth Solidarity Fund helped us by providing sufficient fund to us so that we could organize our organize the workshops according to our work plan. We could easily contact the success stories from the remote areas. The Youth Solidarity Fund has also helped us to, to create the Youth for Peace guidebook and uh, the Radio for Peace guidebook. And to talk briefly about the Radio for Peace guidebook, this is a guidebook that uh, helped us document all the trainings, the activities of the project, so that people who have participated can have hands-on, have reference of the knowledge, of the techniques, of the strategies of creating peace in South Sudan. So they can always be equipped with this knowledge every other day and we felt it was a very good tool to use. The funds we received have helped us to be able to conduct dialogues, uh, trainings between the refugee youth uh, populations and the local youth. We've seen that youth have now started cooperating regardless of having those differences. Uh, there are reduced cases of violence, fights, uh, hatred. So the funds have really helped us and the, the youth are really pushing the, the peace building initiatives in their communities and the refugee camps as well.